On our trip, there are two places where we saw good evidence of ripples. One place is Devil's Island, and the second place is Cutfish Creek. The action of wind or current transports sand particles along the shoreline near water. The flat sand bed is unstable to ripple formation. Ripples form by the way the current flows. As you can see, the ripples are starting to form in the sand. Ripples adapt to changing water conditions. Ripples on rocks are a result of wind or water moving on sand. Ripples form into solid rock when the ripples in sand become exposed by weathering and erosion of overlying material over large expanses of time. 